Hello and welcome to my overlocking basics. Okay, now I'm just going to run through the very basic functions of a standard domestic overlocking machine. Now, as you can see, this is an overlocker and it's totally different to a sewing machine. Okay, so usually with an overlocker, what we have is we have here the carrying handle so it's very portable so you can just carry it everywhere and that just disappears at the back there we have here the uh, electricity cord which just goes into the side of the overlocker uh, and what that does is it powers the overlocker and you are able then to switch it on okay here we have a, a peripheral for the uh, overlocking foot so very much like a sewing machine you have a foot as well to uh, operate this type of machine okay so if I just bring this around again and we just switch it on at the side straight away you can see the lamp comes on so you can see exactly what you're doing and where you're working exactly like a sewing machine does okay we have here a, a tray so any excess thread that falls off just get caught into this tray here and then when it's full you can just dispose of it and tip it out into the bin okay all your threads now with an overlock machine um, they usually work with either a two a three or a four thread usually it's a three thread that you would use most of all and all of those threads get positioned at the back of the overlocker okay and they're always stood they go up in this up and over fashion okay and they then get positioned into little discs which are like tension discs okay and that gets thread through the front of the overlocker and you can just thread it up with the instruction manual you know all of these machines come with instruction manuals it might look a little bit daunting but in actual fact they're really really easy to thread up okay and they always go in a combination of one two three four always in a combination of threading up in the right order okay and all that is clearly marked in the display and the instruction panel on here together with of course your instruction book now with this overlocker what we have here is we've got our accessories so we've got our uh, tweezers okay which you can just use to pull the threads through when you're threading it up or when you're threading it up to the needle uh, we've got a little screwdriver here, we've got machine needles, uh, we've got a little brush here to um, brush out any sort of excess threads and lint and, and, and fluff and all that kind of thing that gets caught up in here. Now the overlocker again like a sewing machine has interchangeable feet so you can just release the feet so this is an overlock foot which we can just put back just yeah that clips in uh, we also have a knife, okay, because an overlocker has a bottom knife and a top knife that work very much like scissors so that when you're producing this stitch and it's over edging your cloth, it cuts the threads off that you don't need, causing this really, really nice chain stitch on the edge of your uh, cloth. Okay, so we can just put that knife back. Um, and again, you just use standard needles like you would for a sewing machine okay so the sewing machine needles will work exactly the same in here as they do in your sewing machine so you, you don't have to get special needles for an overlocker they're all the same and again the glue that comes with um, not glue uh, oil that comes with the overlocker is usually the same oil that you would get with a sewing machine so they're all sort of interchangeable and very easy to use okay and an overlocker machine is the absolute perfect complement machine to have alongside the sewing machine